Welcome to Pax Europeana, this time from the seat of the Austrian state president. It's now the start of the NATO campaign because um, we have this presidential campaign as well. In October there will be the presidential elections here in Austria and I call for whoever will be elected to be clearly pro-NATO membership in 2023 together with Kosovo and Bosnia that uh, we three countries together, the countries as well where Austria has the security uh, cooperation via K4 and I4 that we join NATO together. And all Austrians should only elect one a president who is ready to sign uh, the NATO membership application to also sign uh, the end of neutrality and to lift the Austrian state treaty together with the Western allies because they are all in NATO and we will be secure in NATO. And that's, I think, a very logical next step of the development of the Western integration of Austria and also of uh, the next step after Sweden and Finland have joined NATO. It's now necessary that also the allies from Central Europe, which are missing, especially the EU country Austria, and also the two future EU members who want to join Bosnia and Kosovo, they join NATO, and so Europe will be much more secure. And we should do that in order to stabilize them from potential Serbian aggression, but also as a clear answer to Russia's war against Ukraine and it will allow Austria to be much more active and not only have this rhetorical support for Ukraine, but also deliver weapons and uh, also support financially much more generously these uh, poor people who are every day under Russian fire. And uh, it's also the logical next step of our Western integration after 1995 when we joined the European Union. It's an utter disgrace actually that the Austrian political elite is not able to complete Western integration and that they, after Sweden and Finland joined NATO, they have only said no, 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 no debate, no discussion. This is very, very wrong. Of course there must be a debate about NATO membership and clearly NATO membership is without a real alternative because what is the other way for security in Europe? And we cannot just outsource our security, we should be completely in solidarity with our fellow EU members. What we do if Estonia is attacked or if any other country of the European Union is attacked, of course we have to help, of course we stand in solidarity with all European friends and I call for all the candidates of uh, the Austrian state. <laughs> okay.